Let's take a closer look at the code that allows us to achieve this mesmerizing motion. The whole thing runs off of a sine function. So if we focus on the front arc only, we can see that it rotates back and forth around the center angle with the maximum and minimum angles corresponding to the top and bottom of the sine function. And we can increase the angle range of the arc by increasing the amplitude of the wave. All right, let's look at two arcs moving together. And here you can see that they're moving in phase with each other. That means that the sine waves are overlapping. If we introduce the first phase change, you can see that the sine wave of one of the arcs moves horizontally from the sine wave of the other arc. If we use the same 180 degree phase change across five arcs, this is what we get. And this is a 90 degree phase change, which gives us a little bit of a juggling motion. Cutting that in half gives us a little bit more of a wave-like motion. And cutting that in half one more time gives us a smoother wave motion. When we look at them all stacked together, you can see the difference. Which one do you think is the coolest?